What is up, everyone? Happy, 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 happy Friday. I am Michelle Alexandria, and I am coming at you with another video. What is this you are looking at? You are looking at my very first ever home theater system. That's right, people. I finally did it. I got over my wire fo whole wire phobia and purchased a Yamaha YHT 5950U 5.1 home theater system in a box. Um, it's not a home theater in a box. It's just a home theater system. It's my very first home theater system. The only thing I don't like about this system is it does not support Dolby Atmos. But honestly, Dolby Atmos in the home environment is stupid. And the reason why I bought this is I'm so sick of my Sony H9F. I can't even tell you that thing is buggy. It crashes. It does audio dropouts all the time. So I thought I'd finally up my game here. And I and I'm so tired of sound bars these days because I think they're big, they're bulky, they're no longer as convenient as they used to be, and they're definitely not cheap as they used to be because a good Atmos sound bar is now like nine hundred dollars or a thousand dollars to get a good Dolby Atmos sound bar, and even that requires you to put speakers in, you know, satellite speakers in the back of your, you know, behind you and all this other stuff. So if I'm going to do all of that, I might as well just go all in and buy a real sound system. And the thing I really like about this, as this thing, as opposed to sound bars is, yeah, this thing only does 5.1, but I can always, I can always swap out the receiver later. So once my speakers are set up, I can always just go in later this year and buy a new, um, a brand new um, receiver setup and keep it moving. So I really like that aspect of this. So yeah, I'm getting an exercise bike set up tomorrow and I'm just going to have the, cable, the guy who sets up my exercise bike uh, kind of set up my speakers for me. I'm sure he'll do it for about 40, 50 bucks. I'll slip him a 50 spot. And in other news, I pulled the trigger today on a LG C9. I'm not going to cancel it. I bought it from Costco. It's a with the white glove delivery service and five year warranty. And the total price came up to $2,200. The reason why I canceled it before was I found out it didn't have Weiss's support. But Weiss is a joke. I was really excited for that technology, but then when I actually re did research into WISA, uh, LG C9 is just WISA ready. It's not even a WISA cable, it's a WISA ready TV. So you still have to buy a, a dongle that's $240 for it. And then the speakers themselves are like the cheapest pair I, I saw was like $1,200. So I'm not doing all of that. And I now have this. And the nice thing about this is this setup is guess how much this thing is? $566. That's it. $566. I feel a little ripped off though because on the in the uh, marketing materials it says it, it includes it includes two wireless uh, capable speakers, but no, it doesn't. You have to buy wireless speaker. It only works with wireless Yamaha's wireless music ad system, and those speakers are five hundred dollars, which is disgusting. So I'm not doing that. I'm just going to run the wires. But the reason why I really like the idea of this is it also this thing supports Dolby Vision and HDR and HDR standard HDR. So Dolby Vision and standard HDR has four HDMI inputs, which is awesome. And yes, I'm gonna. This is a. a $1,000 watch. Actually, no, it's not. But I'm buying an Apple watch at some point because I had a health scare a couple of weeks ago. Um, and now I'm paranoid about my heart and everything else. So I'm, I'm going to buy an Apple watch just in case. That was the other reason why I ended up buying the Apple, buying an exercise bike because I need to, I will need to keep my heart and all that kind of stuff regulated. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, this this, I, I lost track of I lost track of what I'm doing. Okay, so this thing has four four inputs and it supports eARC, HDR, 4K upscaling, and I could stream and it includes Bluetooth, 
Wi-Fi certified. It has this YPAO thingy, which is supposed to set up, be a, lets you easily set up your speaker system for your room environment. So it's another dongle thing. You, you attach to the speaker, you put it in the middle of your room, and it automatically calibrates everything. I'm really looking forward to playing with that. It, and it has the AV receiver, remote control, AM, FM antennas, uh, four surround sound speakers, center channel speaker, 100 watt subwoofer, uh, and it even includes speaker wire. So why did I just buy a speaker wire on Amazon? Damn. Damn. Um, it was only 10 bucks. And then uh, subwoofer cable, cable, and it's included. And for some reason, I can't speak. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can't speak. So anyway, it includes HDMI, Dolby Audio, DTS HD, Cinema, Cinema SP, uh, Spotify, and Pandora, everything else. Now, there's a cheaper version of this that doesn't support music cast, and that was only $366. I kind of wish I went with that setup because, you know, I'm not spending $500 on music cast surround sound speakers. I say that now. But part of me wants to go online and buy those damn things today because I am an annoying completist. That's the one thing I really hate about myself is I hate feeling like I'm, I'm missing out and I'm a completist. So knowing those things are out there, I most likely will buy them, but I will hate myself for doing it. Um, so yeah, this is the Yamaha system. And I'm not sure when I'm going to set this up. I'll probably, I'm going to set it up tomorrow when the exercise bike guy gets here and sets up my exercise bike and have him set this up. I also bought some nice speaker furniture to place my speakers on and maybe a couple of potty plates. So yeah, I'm kind of excited about this. This is going to be kind of awesome. So I'm not going to do a feeble unboxing of this. I don't even think I'm going to do any video reviews or anything. I'm just going to enjoy this. And I don't think I'm going to do any video reviews of my C9 when it gets here. I'm just going to enjoy that TV as well. Because again, this is not a TV channel. And I want to get back to doing entertainment reviews and movie reviews and all that kind of stuff. I want to talk about Picard. I want to talk about a bunch of other stuff. I want to talk about Arrow. The Arrow finale next week and Crisis and, you know, all that kind of fun stuff and get off this whole tech train because I think I'm finally settled on everything. And as I say, I'm not a, I'm not a tech reviewer. I'm just someone who needs tech and I was trying to share my journey with you all. And I think my journey has come to an end. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.